today I am doing the mid-year book freak out tag. I was tagged to do this by another booktuber. Her channel is It's Rainy and I will link her video down below in the description so that you can also see her fun answers. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over my answers because each of the books I'm going to talk about already have their own private reviews on my channel so I'll just go ahead and link those videos down below so that you can check them out if you'd like to. Question number one, best book you've read so far in 2018 and that has to be The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. I've read 32 books this year so far which in retrospect isn't that many so it wasn't very hard for me to pick my answers but you know Six of Crows is and Save the Date are both in my top three as well. They were excellent. But The Shadow of the Wind raised such strong emotions out of me. And from beginning to end, it was such a roller coaster. If you haven't read it yet, I really recommend that you do. And let me know what you think about it. Question number two, best sequel you've read in 2018? Like I said, Six of Crows was one of my favorite books. And so Crooked Kingdom has to be the best sequel I've read this far. Question three, new release you haven't read yet, but want to. And my answer is Circe by Madeline Miller. I this book yet, but I will count it as my very first audible. I'm not an audible person, but I will be driving 12 hours to move to North Carolina next month. And so I'm going to give this book a shot. I was told that the narrator is amazing. So that'll be my first audiobook ever. Wish me luck. <laughs> Number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year, Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. She wrote Stock and Jack the Ripper and Haunting Prince Dracula. And I absolutely adore that series. The characters are so fun and entertaining and just lovable and you really get attached to them and I love me some Thomas Cresswell. <laughs> if you've read the series you know who I'm talking about. So yeah I'm super excited to read that book. Just the titles of every single book in that series they're just so awesome. Number five biggest disappointment and this is gonna step on some toes I apologize in advance but to me it was heartless. I was so eager to read this book. It had been hyped up and then I read it and I hated it from beginning to end. The background story to the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland and we all hate her. She's a raging bitch but I felt like this book was trying to get us to understand her and like her when she was a teenager prior to being queen and I hated her as a teenager too. She was obnoxious from beginning to end as well. Just her character was unrelatable and just so annoying. I hated it. This is probably a book I'm going to end up unhauling. Number seven, new favorite author, and that has to be Lee Bardugo. I read the Grisha trilogy and the Six of Crows duology, and I loved every single one of them. And her writing is just so beautiful and excellent. She doesn't go crazy on descriptions, which I have issues with with other authors. But I have to say that Morgan Matson, who wrote Save the Date, is also creeping up there to my new favorite author. But I've only read one of Morgan Matson's books, so I don't know if I can actually say that she's one of my favorite authors. I would have to read maybe a little more, but if her other books are equally as good as Save the Date, then she may be my new favorite author. Number eight, new fictional crush. So for the longest time, for years, my fictional crush hadn't moved from being Jericho Barron's. And if you don't know who Jericho Barron's is, first of all, do you even read? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But He's from the Fever series and he's my all-time crush. But since this tag asks for newest crush, I'm gonna have to say Nikolai Lansoff from the Grisha trilogy. Who doesn't love a prince who has such awesome humor, is a complete badass, and is just so damn lovable? And the way he handled the business between his father and Ganya was just so commendable. Number nine, new favorite character, and that has to be the entire Six of Crows gang, like major friends goal, or Thomas Cresswell from Stock and Jack the Ripper series. 
Number 10, book that made you cry. I cry all the time. <laughs> like, if there's any sort of emotion involved in a book, I cry. I can't even really remember any of the books that made me cry recently, so in this case I'm gonna pick Save the Date by Morgan Matson because it was supposed to be a light and fluffy book, and there is a little bit of a plot twist towards the end, and it's not even anything remarkably sad, but I was just so invested in the book that when this plot twist came around, I felt what the main character felt, and I was just openly sobbing. <laughs> Number 11, book that made you happy, and I'm gonna pick the Stock in the Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco, because I was looking forward to reading those so much, and I they lived up to my expectations. I was not disappointed, and that made me really happy. 12. Book to film adaptation you saw this year. I, first of all, I don't watch movies very often because I notoriously fall asleep, so it's a waste of my money. But I also typically refuse to go watch film adaptations taken from books because they just don't live up to my expectations and they usually let me down, so I can't remember the last time I saw one. But just for the sake of giving an answer, I will say that The Great Gatsby is my favorite book to film adaptation. 14. Most beautiful book cover you bought. I'm gonna have to say Save the Date by Morgan Madsen. It's not beautiful per se, but I really love it. However, I know that when I buy Cersei, I will be completely blown away by it, so it would have been a good thing to have that book for this question. <laughs> and yes, I still plan on buying the physical copy of Cersei, even though I'll be listening to the audiobook next month. The last question, what books do you need to read by the end of this year? I guess you'll just have to see what my next book reviews are because I have a very large shelf full of books that need to be read and I'm not just going to voice them all. Although you probably could just look at my book haul videos that I just posted. Alright guys, this is it for today's tag. It was a lot of fun. I usually don't do book tags because I never know what to say, but this was really fun actually. So I'm going to tag some people if by the time this video comes out you've already done one, just disregard. So I'm gonna tag Read with Marina Ray, Lola Reviewer, and Leah Bex. And whoever else wants to do it. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!